Oh boy. What's going on? <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. I'm just kind of getting last thing set up here. And then we'll dive right into the project. So I actually have to switch over to my other machine, pull some files. So just as we're kind of, people are trickling in, I'll be pulling these files. So you will not be able to see that screen, but happy to say hello to everyone who's on ask some questions, or answer some questions, et cetera, et cetera. So feel free to, uh, you know, get that chat moving, and I will address that. I noticed last week I was uh, drinking disgustingly into the microphone, so I'll try not to do that. And, um, all right, so all those have to go. I'm just going to shoot myself a... Uh, Little linky poo. Um, I don't think I need that. Also, uh, just give me a moment and I'll share my. <clears throat> I'm listening to Pilot Priest Radio again on Spotify. Switch my mouse over and I'll share that up on the screen right now. So if you want to listen along, Listening to Pilot Priest Radio. It's very good. Only on the second song, so. What's up, Jezur? Jezur? I hope I uh, pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. There's a text message. What's going on? Thanks for stopping by. I'm um, just getting a little uh, organizational stuff out of the way real quick, and then we'll dive right into um, dive right into the main purpose for today. So, <clears throat> excuse me. In general, we're we're working on part uh, part one of short film that I'm doing uh, as lights, camera, render, final project. Um, it is inspired by Astartes, I think it's what it's pronounced, which is uh, a beautiful Warhammer uh, 40k. Um, short film that was broken into four parts. So last week you can find the stream, uh, a recording of the stream on this channel, uh, starting a short film workflow live stream. That was, um, went through uh, building a story clock for that. Um, you could, you know, if you have more uh, questions on what a story clock is, feel free to jump into that stream or, you know, shoot me a message and uh, I'll try to quickly uh, encapsulate that. Um, but ba basically it was the pre-planning for for what we're doing. So that helped me to build out a, uh, a loose shot list um, for like character direction and stuff like that. Um, I don't have any music or anything laid out at this point, but uh, the intention of it is to, was to help me pull, um, was to help me pull acting um, uh, from Mixamo for my characters. So the, 
point of this spot, or the, the nice thing about this spot is, I, I call it a spot because I'm in advertising. The nice thing about this film is both characters are using the same model. So I can actually pull, um, just load one model into Mixamo. Um, and you know, what, I'll walk, I'll walk you guys through that very loosely. Um, just a moment. I'm, I'm taking the, I downloaded them all on another machine. So I'm actually just transferring those over real quick. Uh, so bear with me. Bear with me real quick. Let me just grab this, copy that, and we'll paste it, and then we'll send it. So I'm just emailing that to myself. Very exciting stuff. Um, now that I've done that, I don't really, I didn't really think this through. I often don't think things through. All right, so we'll minimize that for now. Um, we'll minimize. Look at this. This is real professional stuff. Um, I'm gonna kill my camera real quick. Let's play capture. Okay, bear with me one second. I apologize. So, uh, how's everyone doing today? I'll take a glance over at chat in a sec and answer some questions to keep this moving. Six people watching. I really appreciate your dedication to this premium content right now. All right, so Pac-Man actors. All right, while that's downloading, let's get Mixamo up, and I'll show you guys what I did. Should really build. I have a um, very loose um, Twitch stream situation. Um, that works for like casual games, not for high, high demand, um, video card kind of stuff. Um, and I have graphics for that, so I should probably do it for this too. So we could switch screens like this and not have this all be a mess, but we're almost there. I'm almost done downloading, I'm just logging into per some personal accounts, stuff like that. So I don't, understandably, I hope I don't want to share that with the world at large. And of course, my computer's locking up. Um, I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna try to do it quietly. Because that's disgusting. All right, my wife is yelling to me. Told her I was doing my project. Oh my god. Alright. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Models, place that. YouTube is yelling at me to check my video resolution. As you can tell, <laughs> it's super low res black screen. All right, uh, we're all set, we're all set, we're all set. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I apologize, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're back, we're back, look at that, cool. Okay. So. All right, so after all that, what uh, basically what I did is this is uh, the model I'll be using. I purchased this off of uh, CG Trader. Um, beautiful models by this uh, artist over there. I'll, I'll try to make a note to link this, uh, a link to that, because I would love... I mean, this is not a... I'm not the first one to use this model. I'm sure you've seen it a lot. There's like a joke of like daily renders always having astronauts in it, and it's a lot of times it's this one. Um, but either way, it's it's uh, really beautiful work, and uh, the artist actually has a ton of um, other flight suits and stuff like that that are just like super high quality. So basically, um, I've loaded this into uh, Mixamo, and based on my uh, story clock. 
Um, I'll just open that up just so we have that as a point of reference. But based on my story clock from last week, um, I've kind of plotted out the key touch points on where I want the story to go, and then that helped me to visualize what I want these shots to look like. Um, I've then gone on to loosely draw that out. Um, just right here. So this is what we're working on. This first quarter of the clock would be part one, two, three, and four of the uh, short, which uh, once all parts are done, we'll combine them all as, as like one, probably eight to 10 minute short. So using these uh, descriptors, I determined that I needed some different, um, different mocap data uh, files. So uh, PM being Pac-Man, Ghost being Ghost. Um, and then uh, let, let me show you kind of what we're, what we're working with here. So um, I think, let's see, I made a note of, I know I want like um, Pac-Man getting up off the ground. So uh, get up, so I did. Get up, get on up. And I wanted number three. So there you go. There's a preview of what our actor is going to be doing. It's very exciting. Um, what we'll do with that is, uh, you know, based on like there's spots where the model is kind of breaking down, like where the waiting is stretched and ugly and stuff like that. So if we, oops, zoom in here. I always forget the controls on this. If we zoom in here, you can see like his armpit is. Horrible, look at that. Look at how like jank that is. Like that's supposed to be like solid like that. But what, and then also sometimes you'll get like stuff clipping through the floor, like his thumb is gone. It's actually pretty impressive that just his thumb is gone. Um, I think I think his hands start outside or like uh, through the floor anyway. So with that, it's like what I'm actually gonna be doing on a lot of these, there you go. So you see those fingers going right into the floor. What I'm going to be doing with a lot of this is setting up the cameras in a way to avoid that. And, you know, then we'll clean up only what we absolutely have to. Like his hand totally disappearing right there shouldn't matter because I'm probably going to be, you know, like, like here. I don't know. His foot is kind of floating too. But anyway. That's what we're doing today, is we're gonna set up different um, different shots. And then we're gonna start by, start to uh, block those out on in Premiere. So, all right, so cool. Uh, so I already have all this kind of stuff downloaded. Um, so let's just get right into Cinema and get to work. Open Premiere, so I could just start building my timeline on everything, and we'll go from there. And timeline-wise, in Premiere, that'll help to start to plot out like the how long everything should be. Um, it would be more helpful if I had music and stuff in there now. Um, I think a lot of this is going to be driven on like sound effects and atmospheric, ambient kind of stuff anyway. So I'm not too concerned about there not being any any music in there. Uh, let me just jump over to my. Rename this Pac-Man underscore part 0101. Let's open every version of every program. God, I gotta update stuff. Open project. Like personal computer, I like never use anymore for these projects. Um, what am I doing? Real? No. Come on. Let's get that open. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. Lovely. I like rebuilding my templates. Okay. So let's start with a body on the ground. We'll start right from uh, the first like actual shot. So the first shot is a black screen. So boom, done. 
the second shot after that is going to be the body on the ground. And we're going to go with like an overhead camera. I want to actually uh, pure ref. Get that open because I did pull some reference and we'll want to reference the reference. Uh, load recent. So this overhead shot, I actually wanted to um, wanted to take influence from Astartes, Astartes, this guy right here. So this is the kind of shot we're going for. We're, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of blocking out the character stuff and very loose geometry for the hallways, the floor, um, the walls, stuff like that, because I gotta go back in and like model everything after that. So, all right, so let me grab my bone here. If I hide this, look at all my local stuff here. Let me hide all this. All right, models. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Dropped on ground. And if you hold shift and drag that over, it'll keep it, it'll like paste it into this project rather than opening a fresh project with it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot those over in chat. I'm glancing over and addressing those as I see them come up. Um, or comments or this, you know, audio doesn't work. That looks like shit. Anything. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. That's still a point. Uh, no, I don't want to resign. Include it. All right. Looky here. So we're in. I don't want this camera. I don't care about it. I don't want to see his skeleton. What I do want is this. Oh. So with this, I actually saved 103 is the frame. The frame number I liked when I bashed that out. So sometimes I make a little note like that. So I know right there, that's this was the pose I liked. Uh, not clipping too much. I don't think his arm is really clipping at all. This one I'm actually going to... I think with this, what I'll... Because this is like just a still, like uh, the camera is going to be moving. The camera is going to be like this. Like really up there. And slow push in. So I don't care that he's not like moving or breathing or anything like that. So what I'm actually going to do is jump into my timeline and delete all the keyframes so now locked into that position and then we'll just kind of clean up the pose a touch so let's put in a ground as a reference point for now and if I jump into my side view here you could see that he's very much clipping below the ground whoops man So that's going to be a problem that we'll need a creative solution for because clearly he's now, oops, what's going on? Clearly he's floating like way above ground. So it's going to be a lot of movie magic on this because I'm just going to clip him right into the ground and not really care because only because we're going with like a, a complete overhead shot like that and I don't think that you're going to notice any of that it's not going to matter what's up Rob welcome 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 all right yeah dude I don't know I'm, I'm super happy that you're working on your project at the same time um, I don't know how many of these will be secrets since we're both uh, LCR alumni um, but steal away man I made that really big. Okay. All right. So, I mean, there's nothing really like. We'll, we'll get into we'll get into cleaning that up if if need be, in a little bit. For now, let's just kind of block everything out. So, I think for the overhead camera, I'm just gonna set an octane camera. I'm gonna jump into that and. I'm probably gonna go 50 or higher on a lot of these shots, just cause I like that like 
tele, um, I like the more compressed look of like telephoto and stuff like that. I think um, if you look at, I just watched Alien uh, yesterday just to kind of get a refresher. And if you do, uh, oh man, bookmarks aren't updated. What is it? Shot, uh, shot deck. Um, if you look at Alien, if you look at Heat, there's another good example. Um, there's so many great, like super compressed uh, images that makes this, the ship feel very claustrophobic. This one is not, this is a nice wide shot. Um, does it show, yeah, it just says lens size. I was wondering if it showed the actual lens measurement. But if you look at, like this is, this is pretty tight. I, I would, I mean, it's wide to get Sigourney Weaver and Jonesy in there, but stop proving me wrong, internet. Um, you know, this is a, a tighter shot. It's a long lens on on that to get that nice, like like the background is very compressed against uh, the back of that character. I forgot her name. Um, but let's see if I can find some stuff where like like that's that's super nice long lens close up real compressed background uh really s like highlights Sigourney uh Ripley right off the background uh same with Ash here it's cool like you get the whole like language of the ship still but what would really prove my point is like when somebody's getting stalked by the alien spoilers for alien by the way if you haven't seen it yet um Look at this. Like, uh, he's right about to get eaten. L nice long lens, close up, compressed look. So that's that's what I'm going for um, a lot with this. So let's do that. I mean, him being on the floor right now is not going to be a great. Like, this is a nice wide lens. So we'll, we'll just play around with that. So I won't go too tight. Let's go with a, go with like a 50 right now. And then what I'm also going to do is go into the composition settings and I'm going to turn on some composition guides. I'm actually going to shut that plane off right now. I'm also going to shut off my grid. Um, let's see. No. I really like the triangles and diagonal guides. This might be a golden ratio ratio scenario. I'm not sure though. Um, nice. We're in. Uh, we're going to be working in um, two two point four film aspect. Where it's essentially two point three nine to one. It's very very close. It's about seven pixels difference. Um, So if I do something like this, we get him right in the golden ratio here. What I could do is maybe like do some set dressing that I I don't if anyone knows how to fix this, and if it's just you in here, Rob, the the golden aspect or the golden uh, spiral is like mapping to the entire viewport rather than just like what's in my camera's view, which is really annoying. Because there's different ways to align it, but but I don't know. I gotta admit, I just don't know. But it'll you know it'll loosely like we can kind of map some stuff here to to try to give it that that look, especially like right, you know, his hand and his foot are kind of hitting that. I don't know. We'll play with that and see see how it goes. So just because I'm a stickler, let's get this, uh, I want this 90 degrees. Like I want my camera looking um, straight down, right from the rafters. So we'll have to kind of reposition everything. This heading, let's make that zero. Okay. All right. I 
I don't think I want a golden ratio or golden spiral here though because I like and this is the the first shot of the spot of the piece I keep calling it a spot this is gonna be the first shot um so let's just let's try centering him dead up see how that kind of feels I also don't know if I like that. That's like too, too perfect. Um, let's get our reference again. I mean, this is centered up, but everything's kind of off, offset. So you know what? It might be that. Like, so part of this is I want to evoke like this. So our first shot is it's just a black screen, and you hear this mass hitting the ground like uh, it's essentially the body like pff, like clumping on the ground so then i want to cut to the first shot of our whole environment camera slowly pushing in and it's got like just like a eerie kind of feel to it so what i'll i think what i'll do anyway is like let's rig up this camera uh camera rig drop our camera in here i like to call these main whoops main oh one and my back man okay so if i center this up on zero 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 that all up my camera rig is also in the same spot so let's get this This camera is perfectly centered up now. Just zoomed way out. And let's move this axis here a little bit. I want it like center mass, so we'll recenter that. Okay. So now we're perfectly centered and we're rigged up to this camera here. So I could now just play with like the Y to affect that zoom there. What I can also do now is roll this camera a touch. Oh, not there. Not there either, the heading of this. So I can kind of push push in and give it like, give you that off balance kind of feeling by um, playing with the natural straight edges that will exist in this environment. So uh, for example, like this is just too perfect, too centered up for me right now. But if I kind of give myself an idea of what this floor will look like with just some, with a very simple cloner. All right, let's clone this as a grid. Da, 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 da. Um. All right, let's give it just like little panels. So we'll call it 201. So they're very close, but not touching. Same with that. Okay, so I just got like a very basic grid here. Um, do quick shading. And let's go like 20 by 20. And we'll bring that cloner down. And like I said, we're gonna clip this our boy's body here. All right. So I'll give you an idea of what I mean. I could just turn the grid back on, I guess, but I didn't. Uh, all right. So also let's. God, I hate that white. It's just very distracting. Okay. Um. So my point now is this: we could start on this shot. And, oh, that's the camera itself. We can put a little roll on it. And that, you know, looking at our reference, like you see, like this grid is not perfectly center. And so already it's like, it gives it one, it gives it a little more of like a human touch in that it's not perfect. This is very intentionally uh, rotated, I believe. Um, 
I'm not sure where in the I think this is the first shot of it, but like the our heroes are coming in from this side of the screen. So it does give us like a slight like ascending line to their ultimate goal. And these are, you know, if you really want to break it down, our guys are coming here. This is where they want to go. This is who's in the way. Um, and I would even argue that they want to, um, uh, you know, they want to advance. Like they want to advance like a stock chart and go up. So like the line is going up like that. Really getting into it there. But so if what I could do here is to add like a sense of unease, even though our guy is super perfectly centered up, we do that. We could also start to play around with this. Like maybe I don't want him to be perfectly centered up because that will make everything feel too perfect. I just off center a little bit. So let's turn our guides back on. Hey, look at that diagonal guide. Let's uh, let's roll this camera and get it right on that line. Look at that. And let's increase our floor a little bit. Uh, what's up, Vox? Hey, Jeff, how you doing, dude? Um, I am not using Espresso in my workflow outside of caffeine <laughs> hey uh no i'm i'm there's like there's cinema is such a powerful tool that uh i think i heard ash thorpe say this somewhere once that like he just uses what he needs to do his work he's probably my he, he's definitely my um my uh design role model um He's like the de the destination of where I want my work to, to be. Um, so I'm just going to copy him. But basically, like, there's so many tools in cinema that I have no idea how to use. Um, and Espresso is one of them. Or Expresso is one of those. It's like, um, yeah. I mean, like, I've, I've played with models that have Espresso rigs on them. And they're awesome. Um and I've, I've rigged up a few things just you, with tutorials. Um, and I understand it, like, as far as, like, the, the foundational idea of it. But um, without, like, a clear intention of needing something that is specifically rigged a certain way, no, I don't really use it. Um, but that's not to say I don't want to learn it or won't. It's just kind of like I'll just learn things as I need them for a project. And that's like a really good reason to do personal work is um, like I'll watch tutorials. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. I want to do that. Like, like uh, you know, I've gone through the um, Insidium X particle stuff like a million times. And I'll just like watch them make cool liquid sims and stuff like that. And it kind of like goes out in one ear out the other because I, I haven't done a project yet where I'm like, I need to do a sim like that. Um, I just know it's like, oh, cool. Um, I want to do that. And now I know where to look when the time comes, but until it's actually needed, I don't really set anything up. So there's a very long dry answer for that question. So thank you. All right. Let's just build up this floor a little bit. Um, I don't know about this. I don't know about this camera placement yet. Maybe it's like we're trying to, because we're trying to evoke, like, it's the start of this journey. This is a lot of pressure here. It's the first shot. Uh, what else have we got to play around with? Let's do this. We'll try them on. I don't know if, I don't know if I like that, though. Because, he, like, here's too far off center. I think I'm gonna try it centered right up, and we'll see, we'll see how all this feels, and we'll do it like just off center, just off center, so it's not perfect, um, because again, it's a it's a it's an imperfect feeling we're trying to evoke from the audience. So now the question is, how far back do I want to be zoomed out? Yeah. Give me a nice wide shot. 
But unlike my reference, this is a huge wide open room that these characters fight in. This is not the situation here. This is actually, I want this to be cramped. Um, whoa. Oh boy. Oops, what am I doing? So essentially, God, come on, give me that. Give me that handle. All right, so he's in this hallway. So how wide can we realistically even go? And let's do this. Let's pull a touch more reference. Actually, I think I have this in here. Um, I think I deleted it from there. So it's going to be heavily inspired by the Pac-Man maze, but it's also not going to be exactly so. Uh, where does Pac-Man spawn? He spawns like right here. You get the idea. Uh, yeah, so Rep says, what about starting close up to show him hitting the deck and then pull out to reveal the whole scene? Um, and then Vox, yeah, no problem answering that question. Um, yeah, Rep, that might be a, that might be a solution to it. Um, it might be a solution. We'll just, that's the, the fun of it, just kind of playing around right now. Um, even like that I think it was because I wanted to like start wide and then like kind of cut in close like that I also want to kind of evoke the idea of like without realizing it right off the bat I still want to evoke the idea that you're like you being the audience is the omnipotent player you know like the, with the pat with pac-man it's top down baby so that's i think that's where the i think that's where the idea for the shot came in how, how the hell would i know how should i know um and so maybe maybe it's something like this where we kind of pay homage to the map by like kind of offering the hallway like that you know give you a little little peeky peek ski poo at what's what what's going on out there you know so he's not completely trapped and i like to do this to turn that view way down Oh, I don't know. All right. So if I put him up here more, he hit. God, this walls are pretty close. Who would have thought there'd be so much going on? One overhead shot here. All right, let's just kind of go with this for now. So I don't want to see
kill these walls for now. Touch more room to breathe. Cause I, I do want to have like cables and stuff up here anyway. Like like that this is like looking in. So maybe we kind of box them in with that kind of foreground, those foreground elements. All right, so let's just jump into the camera move. Start a nice even seventy five hundred, and this shot is oh, I'm gonna do a new sequence. All right, so we're gonna do. Uh, This uh, just call it the you know, one and What is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Let's pull something. <laughs> something is messed up. Why is that all black? God damn. I love Adobe. All right. Weird. Okay. Dude, Adobe is garbage. What is going on? Why is this not? I can't play. Really, really weird. Weird buggy stuff we got going on here. All right, clear guides. Okay. Let's go 75. All right, I don't know. I should have probably put some like sounds in here, but. Oh, we got like four seconds on that first shot of black. Give it like another four on this. And I should probably set my project settings up. It's gonna be 24 frames per second. My PS is gonna be 24 frames per second. And I brought this in at 30. I, for some reason I like, I'll bring stuff in at 30 and I'll render it out at 30 and then I'll just interpret the footage as 24 in After Effects and in Premiere. It seems really stupid. It is really stupid, but hey, that's what I like to do. All right, so let's start there. We want 24 times four. Come on, math, math, quick. 24 times four, 96. That's part of the other reason why I keep it at 30. It's because I know I could do that math a lot quicker. All right. So 
So at 96, I'll set another keyframe. Let's get to here, try that. And make that linear. Might be a little fast on the push, but we'll go with it for now. And then let's give this a touch of, I like 23 as the final framing on the on the uh, heading so let's start with negative 26 and at the end we'll go to we'll go three past 23 so 20 negative 20 and we'll put linear interpolation on that as well i think that might be ooh, actually that looks nice that wowie we got a shot now that's a shot. All right, let's turn this off. It's a little fast. So let's adjust our, let's turn this to negative, let's do negative 24 and we'll do three or uh, one. Uh, so do negative 22. And this is moving in too fast. So 75. Okay, now. Change the speed on that as well. Yeah, that's what I like. It's a much more subtle push. And now, like from a from a composition perspective and a storytelling perspective here, it's um, this angle's pretty extreme, but. Uh, we want our character, just like our stonks, to go up and to the right. Well, they go to the right anyway, le reading left to right, but we want them going up. We don't want them going down. Mine go down, but we don't want them going down. I pick stocks like I pick fantasy football players and teams very poorly. All right. Um, Excellent. Now, let's clean up our buoy a little bit, and this will be like a some nice some nice tips and tricks here, maybe. So I want to just clean up his skeleton. So let's open this up. Let's take a look at this. And, and all you really do is, as long as you're not in, oops, as you're not doing that, as long as you're not in a uh, sub subsurface uh, uh, subdivision surface with your mesh, which it now is, look at that, nice and smooth. That's how we'll eventually render this out. But if I shut that off for now, um, what you could do is just click right into the, these bones. And then you can start to tweak these a little bit. Beautiful. So basically what I want is I just want to clean up the silhouette of our guy right here. And I think it's just like rotating that hip open because I think, I don't know, it might look bad and I might fix it, but let's try to rotate this hip open. Essentially like this. Let's open up those hips there. I'm gonna open up those hips. Yeah, I like that better. So let's now, let's rotate these bones. Get him to touch the floor once again. His foot almost there. I'll rotate his ankle a touch. Boom. Touching the floor nice. Let's just look at these other bones. Just get everything kind of touching a little nicer. Just kind of cleaning that up. Again, we're not going to be like super close to this. Um, and this, this, at this stage, this is only working because um, I've deleted all of the uh, mocap data off of out of the timeline, so our character is not moving at all. But um, later, I'll actually have to do a little refresher on. Um, there's like a Mixamo skeleton. 
adjuster kind of thing in uh, I think it's came out in R20 maybe it did come out in R21 uh, but either way I'll have to play with that a little bit um, so that arm that'd be, that, that's floating so let's just whoops to grab that so let's put the arm on the ground and then we'll rotate the hand back up and then this arm let's let's get wild here no let's not get wild here um his neck though I think I want to sit that up a little bit so it's because what I what I'm gonna ultimately want when I'm getting into uh, lighting this is I want <clears throat> excuse me I, I, like I want the little shine on the helmet and stuff like that so you you kind of look there I think the silhouette's a little bit stronger it's a little easier to read um, this knee is like pointing straight up at the camera though so maybe we do want to adjust that a little bit more uh, get that even wider open those hips a little bit more. You see I'm kind of tearing everything right here, so what I could do is just kind of toggle that back on and see if that smooths it out, which it seems to. So it should be better there. Okay, now the question is, do I just want to do this? Just really give him the old Jim Carrey falling off the uh, terminal look, which I think that that's, I think that's a little too, maybe it's because I'm associating it with like a dumb and dumber, but uh, I think that's a little too silly looking. All right, so let's just go back to what we had. You know, in a really, really quick way, we could play around with this. Oh, um, quick tip, save your project immediately so that... Uh, you don't have to lose all your work. All right, so Cinema 4D. Let's call this PM shot one body on the ground. Uh, I like to put a little descriptor in there, so I I call everything shot one through twenty, and it just screws you up later. So let's. Being this is a short film, and we're probably going to want to like edit and shift things around and find new adjustments and stuff like that. We'll try to label this as best as we can from the start. So now we're saving. Let's send this to render. I can't see anything. It's because I have a black environment in there. So let me just throw a texture environment, just a white one there. Uh, and we. Shut that off because what I really want to do is just test out the. I just want to test out how the shadows are gonna look, and if they will help this knee read a little better. When we get some very basic lighting in here, say yeah. So that's something to keep in mind too. Now is that my. Like once I have lighting in there, that might really f up our silhouette of our character. All right, let's push this. Let's just push these way off frame. Just a very general idea right here. Nothing close to final, but again, just to help me kind of pose our guy a little bit. <clears throat> and if I turn this, you know, turn one of them down, you can get an idea of what I'm what I'm talking about. So the the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the shadow right here is super super harsh, um, and then I lose like all that information of like his arm, that kind of thing. So what if we did this, what did I put that? Oh, I put that super super low. Yeah, that pose is horrible. Let's pull some reference. Um, let's 
do like anime knockout body. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna get weird quick. Let's go to art station. Um, knockout. I don't know. Uh, what can I look for? Like, I want a body. It's like dead body, maybe. Get real weird with it. I just want to find somebody. Body on the ground. Hmm. Just looking for some pose reference. Oh, perfect. Among Us body. Um. Hmm. Try to think of. Let me do this. Let's look at um. My favorite. Metal Gear Solid Ninja. Let's do Gray Fox. Uh, there's some really, really beautiful concept art. Um, oh man, look at this stuff. It's not really concept art. It came out after the game, but um, I'm sure we can find some good bodies on the floor. For, for some posing reference, um, hmm. <laughs> My mind is kind of blank right now as far as. I mean, do we go shot deck? Let's look up. Did Bossy? Gross. Hmm. Oh man. Sorry guys, there's some gross ones in here. I guess I should have expected that with dead body. What is that? Oh, spoiler. I haven't seen that yet. Um Look at that. There we go. Murphy. So his knee's kind of bent. I think that was my natural inc inclination. So maybe it's his arm stretch out. Looks kind of weird too. All right, so let's dig in. Let's dig back into this. Pause that. Let's get right down in the dirt. So this... Let's rotate it. Let's get that down. Take some tension off his crotchal region because it's tearing. Um, let's fix these hips a little bit. And let's make this less cartoony by just kind of You know, just, we just got to swivel it a little differently. That knee is so twisted up the... Oh my god, I'm destroying this. Destroying the weighting on this. Straighten that up a little bit. That actually looks pretty nice too. Just the let's correct his knee there. Just like oh, does it look nice? All right, let's rotate that up there and let's get this arm that's the 
problem is my the waiting on this like model. So, like look at that. That's not good. Shit. Pushing the wrong buttons here. All right. Um, this color bone down to the floor a little. All right. How's that looking? Yes. No one likes torn crotch. Um, it's a travesty. Definitely looks more like a dead body, which is kind of the intention. I actually, I, 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 I like this better. All right, so let's take one last little, whoopsies. One last little peek at this, make sure nothing's all janked up. We'll turn on our subdivision. See if anything's ripping and tearing. It's going to be a pretty wide shot, so I, I doubt it'll have a huge influence on it, but let's find out. Look at those boots. Look at those boot models. Gorgeous. His wrist seems a little cocked. I'll do this. Now let's see how that looks. Um, 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 Send that back to this to render. Yeah. That's better. That's better. All right. Cool. Pause that, save that, let's knock this out. Let's shut off our lights. And our axis filter. Whoops, filter, whoops. I don't know how to shut that off. All right, cool. Let's bash this out. Play blast this out. Um, all frames. 1920. Okay. Take a little sip, sippy poo. How's everyone doing in chat? How's everyone doing? Nine watching. I'm one, but eight watching. What are you guys doing with your Sunday? I mean, thanks for watching. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's weekend? What'd you do? What'd you do? How'd it go? Cool. All right. Wow. What a shot. What a shot that is. Let's pause that. And let's find it. Let's copy it. Then we'll... Create a folder, play blasts, and we'll paste it, and then we'll rename it, shot one, oh, one. Nice, love that sound. Uh, I don't need this, I need this, that, 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 it's not what kind of project this is. Wow, look at that, nice half res.
So really help with some, some sounds in here. Oh, hi everyone. Cinema, nice. Did you go to the cinema or you're playing in Cinema 4D? Same, Rob, same as me. Oh yeah, yeah, so Chris, everyone. Chris Blakely is working on the score for this and he already provided a very awesome song that I'm going to save for later. I don't want to preview it yet. Preview it to the stream yet. Um, let me pause this. Are you guys getting... Um, if I throw some sound effects in here, just let me know, please, if you are hearing this. Let me just throw a song in here. Actually, it's a cool song. Uh, is anyone hearing this song? Pause while we get responses. Hopefully you are. Um, so I'm just going to put in some sound effects right now. No audio. What a fool to think that there'd be audio on this. All right, peek behind the curtains. It's like after desktop audio. If I do desktop audio, you'll get. You'll get the music I'm playing. All right, let's try this. Yeah, you should be in that. Check, check, check. Uh, that one I think you're getting? We'll find out. All right. I don't know if that's... All right. Well, trust me, there's audio. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> doesn't really help for this. I guess we'll do that more in depth next time. Um, my shot length is pretty arbitrary right now anyway, so let's just jump into the next shot. Waking up. Wake me up. All right. All uh, right. Stop that. Don't do that. Mm. All right. We'll save this. And then we will probably just gonna duplicate this. So save project as we'll call this one shot two. Wake up. Um this way we can kind of keep similar geometry and stuff like that. Keep similar everything. Get rid of that camera rig. And, excuse me, that was gross, sorry about that. Um, let's go into our models. And where is wake up? Crawl hours. get up, look over shoulder, nervous, sitting up. Sitting up is waking up, probably. That's probably what I labeled it. If you're not getting audio, I'm going to put my music back on. I'm also going to adjust my lighting a little bit. Hold on one second. I've got blinding light from outside. All right. Um, no, I don't want to. Yes, I do want to reduce that. All right. Get rid of that camera. Looky here, look who woke up. Shoot. I don't know if this was a... Oh yeah, sit, no, no, this is the wrong one. Cause sitting up is just, that's just a, another pose. It doesn't have any motion to it. Um, did I even get a wake up one? I think it's get up, get up panic. I think we just have to cut it short because 
I want the get up, not the panic yet. Based on my notes here. All right, so we're just loading in this. No, I don't want that. All right. Yeah. So that's closer. Let's get rid of this. Let's group that so that I can spin that. Let's kind of put them in the same orientation. I'll take our original boy and get rid of him. And we'll Pakuman. Save this and we'll hide his bones. And now let's change our camera. Okay. Those walls. Right, they're not very tall because it's looking at them overhead. All right, so I might need to download another one because I need I need them like to sit up. I don't need them to get up. So let's go to Mixamo. See what we can find. Because I guess he's not. Uh, this is the pain in the ass. Because him like laying down was. Um. Him laying down was like a death animation. So I can't like. Beautiful. Mm. Hmm. This is kind of what I want. But I want. Yeah. Kicking out. Still days. Wow. Look at that acting. Waking. There might be something there. I could do like an Undertaker kind of sit up. Because pushing it on the body. Yeah, I need I need like an Undertaker kind of sit up thing because like this, except not. What if I really check up the arm? <laughs> uh, that's the fun. Mixamo. That like I might be able to squeeze a camera in there, and get around that. Like that could be really fun. I'm just like a, with like a like a snorri cam like attached to him. Um, let's try this. Let's give this one a try. Slow it down. That arm space is like as far as I could get it though. Yo, what up, bro? Look at this. <laughs> I <laughs> really decrease the arm space. He's gonna be touched. Oh no, that's perfect actually. Because now they're out of his face. So if I do, if I do the arm space right here, I don't want this like because this is like somebody actually doing a sit up for like a virtual workout video, I guess. If I increase it too much, he's doing this guy. So yeah, if I, who cares? I'm not even gonna see his hands. I just want him to sit up. I think I'm gonna have to watch for it though. It looks like this. Looks like his helmet. You know, this is all solid, so I don't want his helmet to kind of mush, which it might be. Yeah. 
Let's try this one. So let's download this, download it at 24. Downloading. So he's gonna sit up, wake up, and just kind of like collect his thoughts there. So I think what we do is like sit up and then maybe cut to the wide shot of him actually sitting in like the pose that we liked. So that's the goal here. Just kind of string things together. So let's rename that Pac-Man. Whoops. Pac-Man sit up. I'm going to call it motion just to separate it out from sitting up, which is a, that is a, what we saw was an idle pose. Uh, so sit up motion, let's drop that in there. You guys hear this music? What am I listening to? Montrose. It's good. I must say, I like it. All right, so roughly the same orientation. It's going to be fine because we're going to get real close with this, real up in his face. Like right here. Like that's, whoa, that's what I want. And um, man, I'm so excited for the sound, like doing the audio on this one because we get to do like a muffled spaceman in a helmet thing. I, I'm really excited to do the Foley for this this whole thing. I think it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm a little biased because I'm making it, but I, I have a feeling it's gonna be awesome. We'll, we'll see though. All right, so I don't really wanna duck past, don't really wanna duck past uh, 50 on the uh, lens choice, just cause I wanna keep everything still nice and tight. And this, I actually had this written down. I had this written down for another shot, but I wanted to steal this like uh, shot from Wh Whiplash. I'll show you guys what I'm going for. Um, hey, now that you guys like, share, subscribe to that guy's channel. That's pretty cool. Uh, Whiplash chair throwing scene um what a great what a great movie but there's this beautiful shot in this and it's so simple but i like it a lot uh where he throws the chair okay so he throws this this chair he ducks it nice duck whoops I always forget the stupid controls on each of these players. So he ducks it, and then this next shot, and he's like, yeah, fuck, I missed him. Probably a good thing I missed him. Yeah, but I'm tough. This shot right here. It's just an empty frame. And then he sits up into the shot, which... It's, like, super disorienting. I don't know. Uh, J.K. Simmons actually like talked about it in something, and he was like, and that's actually what brought my attention to the shot. And I was like, oh yeah, that does like sell that this like this disorientation more. He's like, what? The, what? What the fuck? Which is exactly what I'm going for here. Is that what the fuck kind of feeling? So I want to start it here and then And I think this will give us kind of an Undertaker vibe. Um, if you know, you know. I'm not gonna play around in YouTube all day. Uh, I think this is a pretty short shot though. 40, we'll call it 46. 
and I'm just going to kind of hand animate this camera. I'm not going to put it in a rig, uh, but uh, since this is also a composition kind of exercise, all right, let's get him right in my favorite, my diagonals, my triangles rather, um, and we'll put the golden section on just to kind of make sure he's balance there and I want the camera to pull back with him so let's set all those keyframes actually you know what I'm gonna rig this up just to control it a little nicer let's set up a, a null for our camera rig here guys I'm sorry I have a Too many cups of coffee, and I'm getting a little indigestion. I'm sure you wanted to know. All right, uh, all right, camera rig. Want that right on his face. Um, yeah, right there. So we'll call that camera rig. And boom, I'll drop the camera into it. <laughs> I, I have a very NSFW story about Undertaker action figures, Rob. Um, I'll tell it. Um, my, I had a childhood friend that uh, his name was Jeremy as well, and I would he was I was a good kid, and then he was a bad kid, but I loved him and he made me laugh. And uh, um, I would that was <laughs> it was like a summer I got in a lot of trouble. Like we went to a summer camp and I got in a lot of trouble because I would hang out with him all the time. And he brought an Undertaker toy, and he took another toy, like another action figure, and he cut off one of the fingers from the other, <laughs> the other action figure, and he hot glued it on as a penis on the Undertaker figure. And uh, I about wet myself crying. It was so funny, um, and we got in trouble <laughs> when they when they found it. Uh, and w my mom was like, "You used to be a good kid. You used to be a good kid. What happened?" <laughs> Jeremy happened. It's great though. It's a great memory. It's worth it. Remember it now and still laugh about it. Um, all right, let's uh, freeze all these. Let's freeze it all because I want just. All right, cool. My rig is working. Uh, now let's say, yeah, I think right. You know, set the Z there. And let's jump to the front of the line, and we'll push that in a little, a little bit. Dude, I don't know how far that is even. And play with our walls in a second to just kind of help help that out. <laughs> it's there's more details to the story, but I feel I feel that's a good. All right, so. Back wall. Look at that. Nice flat wall shot. I want to even speed that up a little bit. Um. It's gonna be a little hard to tell the how much depth is on the wall here. Let's see if we could just get the details from this. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice like slow pullback. For now, we'll keep it less um, urgent, so it's not quite an Undertaker sit up kind of thing. And it shouldn't be because he's waking up still. Then we're gonna cut to this terminal shot. And then that's where he's like, oh, fuck. And that next shot will be some hand animation on the character rig. All right, so what? And that's all that really is. And obviously we'll put, like, I don't know, it's obvious, but in the, uh, when we get into modeling this whole scene out and stuff like that, this whole back wall will need stuff on it. Um, that's where some of our alien reference will come in. 
which I don't have up, but oh, oh I have it up here. Um, you know, like the walls and stuff like that, like those pipes, you know, really dress up the wall. I think that original, this shot right here, that's similar to how the walls are probably going to be. It's like these big pipes and stuff like that. I think subtle graphics on like, like arrows and stuff like that. I don't know. That is a, another problem for another day. So that looks lovely. Let's uh, blast this out. They do he like kind of reacts. The only problem with this I'm I'm realizing now is my ge geometry of everything is all messed up because he actually needs the hallway to be he doesn't need a wall behind him, he needs the hallway behind him. So these basically have to like this based on what what's happening that's why we do this Yeah, cause based on based on how this the next sequence of events has to play out, it's actually got to be like this a little bit more, and I want this to still feel a little constricted. You know what? Look at that! Look at what we got here. What an excellent opportunity to use the triangles right there. That's very extreme, though. Actually. Um, I don't know. That could be really cool. It's definitely dramatic. Um, that's super dramatic looking. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Uh, oh, I kind of do. So our floor is following. Our floor is following the line of. If we're gonna do this, I think we got to put him back in the center of the frame. Where's my crosshair? Yeah, he's gotta go over here. Just off center there. Let's let's give these a little bit more room to breathe. I mean, if we, you know, we could use the influence of the of the lines there, but it doesn't have to be dead on. Because there's going to be a lot of like, essentially the walls will be in that close once like all the props and stuff are on there, but. Let's do this for now. So let's save that. And then in our shot two, this wall back here. Yeah, let's kill those. All right, we'll blast these out because he's going to look, going to kind of get like a, Flashback-ish kind of shot to the um, the terminal that we don't that the the mystery terminal that we don't know what it is until the end of the the end of the short. 
Um, and then when it cuts back, he's like scared, and then he kind of like scampers up because we see something down the hall. Um, so, right as we had it, he was actually facing. He was facing a wall, so he couldn't really see that. So that's why I'm switching that up. Body on the ground. We'll blast that out. Sorry. Sorry for that gross sound. Uh, all right, let's find that in the Explorer. We're gonna want these two. Now we're gonna go back to our footage. Play blast, paste. So this will be shot one oh two. And this will be shot oh two oh one. And let's drop these in. Let's drop them in. Place that and then hmm. I don't think that works. Yeah, I think that's a little extreme of a jump. So, I mean, it's like, do we do like a close-up of his like hand? His little fingers twitching? Or is it like a... We have an audio build-up that kind of hits right here, and that's what wakes him up. Yeah, I think we need a little, little connector there. So let's go back to project body on the ground. Let's see what the project has. This is why naming these like shot one, two doesn't really work. So shot one, let's do a hand twitch. All right, we're getting right into hand animating stuff, which this should be fun. Um, Let me put my money where my mouth is here. Oh shit, he doesn't have finger rigs. So I can't do that. Do we like jump on his... Oops. Do like a close up of his face. That could be pretty cool, like a what? dude. How many times have you? How many times have I closed that program? God. All right, here we go. Pushing in. Yeah, I think that's all it is. It's like, let's do another, build ourselves another four seconds to play around with this shot. So if we look at this, actually I'm going to want to delete all these keyframes and I want, because I want to match this angle, uh, but I just want to get real close to them. I want to get real close to them. Um, and let's take this I know there's a shortcut to do that, but I forgot it. So let's do this. I'll drop that back in there. Oops. And look at that. That fits our. We'll get even closer. It's nice though, because he fits. You know, he fits our all our like lines, our our guidelines there again. Actually, I want to get real close, like right here. We'll continue the push right there. 
could be a really cool like opportunity to like get the environmental reflections on his mask. Um, I think his mask is gonna be a little smudgy and dirty, um, but still, it's a fun little opportunity to do that. So now if I do, let's freeze all those. Oops. Yeah, we'll just kind of continue the push. And we'll set this here. Because what we're gonna do is play around with the track after function and we'll continue after and we'll use that <clears throat> that line right there to do that. So if we did a another four seconds, that's 96 frames, which that's very extreme. Whoops, let's grab this one. So let's just play with that now. Could be a good, so all right, so we're hearing this body like slam on the floor. And we're like, how is he dead? And then this, so this shot could be a good opportunity to hear the like respirator going or something like that. And so we communicate to the audience, like, no, he's alive. Uh, so let's try that. So let's, uh, Blast that out. We'll slide that down a little bit. And that'll give us more time to cue in the, um, what's this one called? It'll give us more time to cue in the, uh, whatever audio is going to indicate to us that he's alive. So, Call that shot. So I should actually be labeling these 01001 because now what I could do is call this 011. Um, call this 010. Oopsies. Jumping back and forth between Mac and PC is really annoying when you're trying to label stuff because different buttons do same but the same button does different things. All right. Cool. Let's bring this over here. It's going to yell at us. Locate. Uh actually let's just do this. I'll fly them all. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just get rid of all of them. Yep, except this time I'll hit yes. Let's import them all. Stop showing you my reel. Uh, right, footage, play blasts, and we'll do scrap these three. We'll drop them in our footage folder and let's start over again. So we have that, then we're gonna do this shot, then we're gonna do this shot. Well, let's check. Still really quick. This yeah. I think I think what it, the problem is it's like we're like cutting abruptly right here, and I'm doing that to avoid the rest of that animation not being what I like because it's or not what I not being exactly what I need. So 46 from that we'll call this 100. Actually, let's call it 146. So then I can just I'll delete that anyway. So. You know, if we look at our Undertaker here, he sits up and then he immediately gets up, which... So is there more we can pull out of that? Because we're cutting right here. And we really just want him to sit up. So do we do like a... Do we, uh, I, I think if we cut right to a shot of him, like a wider shot of him then like sitting up, I think it might be too abrupt. We'll find out though, let's do that now. So we'll call this, save this, 
let's say project as I'm gonna have to rename all these projects afterwards, so we'll call that two one wake up wide. I'm gonna just delete that whole camera situation for now. Um, and let's import our next set of data. So sitting up. There's 10 people in here? Holy cow. What's going on, everyone? Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping in. You must have lost your cable subscription package to be watching on this Sunday afternoon, but I appreciate it. As I punch my microphone and cause horrible audio distortion. All right. Uh, he's in the same place. So... As you can see, I think that might just be a little. You know, I think if we cut to like something like that, it might be a little too. Sits up. What's up, Tommy? Tommy? Dude, it's almost Sunday night here. This day has gone very quickly. I haven't even played video games yet. All right. Um, so with this pose, I think he's a little too relaxed. So is it like a... You know, it's holding his head or something. Let's group it. And let's get him on the ground. We're running into that clipping problem. Here his legs are going to be clipping. But let's just jump right into a camera. We'll make this one 50 as well. And let's try to match that angle so it's less jump cutty. Put it just off center a little bit. Does that work? Let's try this. Let's just see if we can even pose this how we'd want it. If we're gonna be able to. Um, what the heck was? Oh, oopsies! I gotta delete all that. I had to delete all the like the Mixamo um, keyframes on that because it's just a pose. Anyway, so it's not like it's going to be moving, but all right, slowly but surely, we will get our hand to that head. Yeah, I can't go too high because it's going to start breaking there, and I don't know how to weight things properly. He's all like, whatever. All right. It's like just a, uh, like just reaching for his head. Oh, what's up, Pixel? What's up, Money in India? Oh, thank you. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it.
know, so maybe something like this was just, ugh, it's a little. Kind of stupid looking. Problem is my rig doesn't have bones in this. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's like so he's he's Pac-Man. Now he's a real boy. So maybe he's just like, what? My hand? This is the this is the magic that happens. This is the, the well thought out process that is this video. Is I am just kind of making it up as I go. Um I think it could work though. Like, so let's, what are we rotating here? Let's go to scroll to first active. It's right hand coordinates. Is that what we're doing? All of them? All right, whatever. Let's keyframe them all. And we'll give them three seconds to do that. So 24 times three is too hard for me to do quickly. 72. I knew that. Come on. Rotation there. And this, I don't want it to be... This, I don't want to be a linear thing because it's, a, you know, it's human movement. So it's like a... Maybe slowly speeds up. So let's go... You know, let's ease into it. This is what I like to do. I like to get all, I mean, this is usually pretty essential into smoothing this out. Like you want all three pitch bank and uh, pitch heading and bearing to be the same amount of influence on your handle. So we'll call that 30. And we'll copy the same on these. So that puts our little handle in the same exact spot. So that curve is gonna all be at the same time so it picks up a little speed and then we could kind of match we can match the reverse angle of that we could pull a bunch of shots out of that because we could like have him look at that get the reverse angle of his hand then the reverse angle of his helmet then we could cut to our terminal did it all right, um, and we don't have to move much because, though, actually we do because, because uh, he's just sitting up in this one. And it, and it does cut abruptly. So is there another Mixamo thing we could do that kind of bridges this gap too? Of a let's let's do sit again. Sit idle maybe. I'm just kind of blasting through real quick to see if I could, you know leg stretched out situation so I don't have to futz with this a ton. It'd be nice to get like this. This is what this is what we're using right now, sitting male pose, but with with some data on it so it's like well it's a pose anyway. Um, but if you get some data on it, it's that, you know, just little, real subtle motion that makes it look like he's alive. We kind of went through a lot of these. So waking. So this, what we can do is slow down the overdrive on it. And the trim. Gonna loop it. But 
But what I could do is kind of pick it up right there from 35 and ride that to the end. And then you get that little subtle motion there. But is that going to match this? Because I, I do need like a wide shot of this. Hmm. So I'll need his arms behind him. Which I could do. Like there's, I just have to get, <laughs> I have to get into a tutorial of it basically. So let's see if we can find something before I do that. Otherwise I gotta get in and like rig up his arms a little differently. Which again can be done. I just haven't done it in a few months, so I forgot how to do it. So I'll have to like, kind of watch a tutorial on it. Because we're going to need to cut from that extreme close up to a wider shot. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see what, what we can get away with this. So let's download this 24. Um, we'll call this waking up. We'll see if we can get this to work. Can finish working on this shot since we're here. This will just give him a little motion on it. And this one I think we could do, I think we could probably keep that, just like the natural S curves on that. Oh, never mind, doesn't matter. Because those don't change. So if I do this, we'll do the same thing, 30. See how that looks. Just bringing his hand up like that. And so his, his neck here, I'm just gonna give it that little rotation. So scroll to first active, and we will set our bearing on that. And then 72 is where we had it. We're just going to turn his head. Call that 30 as well, just to keep things copacetic. And let's see. Shit. I've keyframed the wrong thing. Shit. So we'll start over. So what I want is to turn that, it's gonna be everything. So I'll jump back to the beginning, keyframe them all. And jump back to 72. I did that at 76 though. Let's jump back to 72 and we'll turn his head to look at his hand. Now we'll take a look at everything. I'd say he turns faster than, he should probably turn faster than we are letting on here. So let's go. Let's go about there. Let's see, he turns pretty immediately. So this guy is going to be 12. So we'll call those 12. Get those evened up. And then this guy is 30, 30, which is that nice round number we've been going with. Let's just take a look at that. That's a cool shot. This is cool. Oh. There's a sitting days. I uh so 
Thank you uh, for sharing. Um, it's I, I looked at Sitting Dazed, but it's super cartoony. He's like, he's like uh, and there's no slider that adjusts. Um, like some Mixamo has like, uh, there will be like a slider that the best way I could describe it is it, it um, adjusts the uh, style. So there will be like a, a run, for example. And I know there's a run. And then there's like a slider that adjusts like the run type. And then like it like turns the hands into this and turns it into like a sillier run. That sitting days would be perfect if it had that, but it doesn't. So um, unfortunately, I can't use that. All right, so let's just finish up this shot here. And this one, I'm just gonna animate all the all the keyframes on it. And we're gonna cut it right at 72. And it's gonna be push in there. And our camera is gonna be linear. And what I'm actually gonna do is I want him to start turning his head sooner. I want these to be zero. I want him to start that by moving his, yeah. Just brings a little bit more realism to it. Yeah, so Pixel's saying, um, oh right, yes, Overdrive is not very helpful. Only some rigs do contain helpful. Yeah, Overdrive is good for, I like Overdrive for really slowing things down. Um, and your keyframes look, uh, thank you. Your keyframes look better now anyways, I appreciate it. So it, uh, we'll see if my how my keyframes work on, because this is still not quite the shot because right now we're going from this sit up thing. And like, I feel like we still need a shot of him sitting up before we cut back to this, like him looking at his hand shot. Um, I'm also gonna start the rotation on the hands. Uh, not the, f is it the forearm? No, the right hand. I'm gonna start these a lot sooner too. Let's crank those down to like 10. And we'll crank those up to, we'll ease that a lot more. 20, we'll call that 30. Make everything nice 30. There we go. And I'll add just a little bit more life to this hand by grabbing this skeleton here. Yeah, yeah, Start that crushed in a little bit. And at the end of this, we'll open it up a little bit. And with that one, I think we can Make that linear. That should be all right. Okay. Yeah, man. So I'm pretty new to this, like rigging, uh, rigging up characters and like adjusting them and stuff like that. Like I, I got a really in-depth um, um, exercise on it in Lights Camera Render because. When you do the title sequence, um, the idea is to use like like statuette kind of uh, poses, but I wanted them to move subtly, and so like in doing that, it's it's really addicting. Um, there's obviously a lot of bones and joints and stuff like that to play around with, but as you can see, like to customize the shot that you want, it's really rewarding to see your character come to life by. Like by uh, by having it do exactly what you want it to do. So anyway, it's cool. I recommend it. Would try again. All right, so let's blast this one out. I gotta take another drink. I don't know if you guys can hear me drinking and slurping. I apologize if you can. It's disgusting.
Alright. <clears throat> So instead of whatever, I'm gonna do this so I don't have to keep jumping back and forth. Models, play bless. And we'll call this shot. What are we on? Shot 021. 01. Play blast, drop this in here. So you can see this is not gonna work. It's too rushed. So that's where I need to fill that gap with another like shot, but then we could come to this. You know, we're looking at him for a sec. And I'd say that camera is really rushing in there. Um, so let's slow that down. Other than that, I actually like that shot a lot. So I might have screwed myself here because I definitely did. Let me do this the right way instead of the fast way. Um, let's put a rig on this guy. So we could, so we, I, I really just want one slider to control the camera. We should actually like kind of push into his hand too, to, to so that the audience is also looking at his hand. All right, so let's freeze all this. Yeah, good. That's where I wanted it. And now let's just, let's back it up a touch and see how that looks. Just want a very subtle move there. Because uh, then if I look at my camera rig again one more time, my composition helpers, my diagonals, my triangles rather, um, and my golden section. I just want to make sure he's... I want his like, shoulders to fall on the golden section a touch. So if I sneak him over there. Would you look at that hand? Beautiful. So let's save that. Let's shut this stuff off. Let's blast that out again. And we're on our way. So what are you guys working on? Uh, anyone working on projects right now that they'd like to share with the group, bring to everyone's attention? I'd be happy to look at them and see them and talk about them. Less. So let's just. Oh my god. I can't do it the quick way. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright, uh, 021, 02. Play blast. Let's drag that in. And we'll replace that. Okay. Let's see if that slowed it down a little bit. So the only thing is I can't tell it like there's obviously aliasing on the grid on the ground here. I can't tell if it, it has like a lateral move because I definitely don't want that. Let me just do this real quick. Let me just put something in the frame. In the background here. Let's just see if that's moving laterally. No. I don't think it is. It's just an optical illusion. All right, so I still need to bridge bridge these two shots. So he sits up. I forgot what I pulled for this now. This one. Let's 
Is it just this sit-up shot isn't working? No, I, I like that shot. Oh, cool. All right, so doing mainly in Unity 3D right now, but with lots of mixable characters all under NDA. Ah, oh, last project not under NDA is this one. Oh, nice. Um, oh, are you about to share your last non-NDA project? Well, if you get a link to your project and you wanna share it, definitely drop it in the chat. Uh, and Rob is one minute, 35 seconds into the final project for LCR. I reckon it's gonna be about four to five minutes long. Nice. 80s tinge, aliens evade, Mars story with a crap load of action on the ground in space. Yeah, dude. Uh, definitely share with us where we could watch that because Rob's renders for this have been awesome and I'm really excited to see that, sh that whole short film. Awesome. All right, let me just get a feel for the pace of this though. It's like good so. I think this shot, but like like this dead center shot like that might be a little it almost looks like a music video or something, which is not what I'm going for. Wonder if I could do this. Got an idea. Oops. Uh, let's open up that project again, the wake up. And what if we just deleted all these frames after that part? See the incremental on it. Like, what if we just deleted all these? And then manually keyframed it from there. Might work. Because what I, ideally what I'd like to do is have them sit up and then just sit there. Staring confused like his creator me um. oh thanks Rob yeah I'm the um, f I will forever not be able to pronounce this Astartes, Astartes whatever it's um, that Warhammer um, reference that David Pohl like showed us is so good and that's that's where that's where i'm going with all this it's like i'm just gonna do um oh my god this is so many keyframes i'm just gonna do a like a like a traditional short film the title sequence was really fun title sequence design is like my passion dare i say um, I really like I, I love the the graphic design of that and then the um, you know all the short film aspect of it but um, this will be my first like actual short so I'm really excited to like while I have the creative energy to head down this road I, I want to strike while the iron's hot oh my god this is a foolish endeavor right now Look at all these children. Oh my god, alright. There's probably, there's probably like a twirl down all option. Um, is there a better way to do this? Probably.
Yeah, Pixel. Check out Rob on Instagram. I'm sorry, guys. I should read this out loud. Um, just a little conversation going on this uh, Sharon Rob's work. Yeah, definitely check Rob on Insta. It is uh, at Rob Hales, I think. Um, and then yeah, Asterity's doing like I think I think like more sustainably like the longer term goal would be to have a Patreon set up that I was doing like tutorials and stuff like that, but there's just so many tutorials out there that I'm, I'm happy to like share information. I really like the conversation around it. So I actually like doing these streams better than just doing a traditional tutorial. Um, so I have a Patreon set up um, for like, providing project files and stuff like that. I just like, I had one patron, uh, one patron for a while, um, which was cool. But then like, basically I gave him all my project files to that for that, um, like series I was working on. And then I was like, all right, I don't want to do another one of those. Um, I'd rather make short films like this and go the, uh, direction of the Asterix script. Uh, Starty's uh, creator, where he's just got a Patreon that's helping fund the the continued work on that project, which I think is like the uh, sustainability model that I would much rather like to follow for these. So, um, you know, I I don't have like a push for what I'd like to do. like. I don't have uh, that was shit. I'm not. Um, I mean, if you want to subscribe to my Patreon, I'd be more than happy for you to. But um, at this point, it's like I, I don't have anything rewards-wise set up. I don't even think there are other than like a thank you. I think that's kind of how he does it. Is like It's like donate what you want to help the continued production of these. But I think that's my um, medium to longer term goal with just like production work like this is I'd rather be making these shorts – um, and then have them be funded by people who want to watch them. Um, it's just hard for, oh my God, I nailed that deletion. Holy cow. Look at me go. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to like say anything about it at this point though. Like, because this is like, this part one is kind of the proof of concept, but if you guys want to support, that's awesome. All right, so that worked. I should just freeze it. Yeah. All right, cool. So. I guess how do we let's see if this even will work. So I need to get his hips. You grab by the hips. All right. Um, I guess it'd be this like spine right here. Yeah. So I'll just continue that motion here. Scroll the first active. Okay. So let's really jank this up and see if we can get it going. It's really just this. And I want this to be extended out further. Can I do something with this? Um, break tangents. Lock the angle. Really extend that out. What does that look like? Be cool if it went the right direction. Whoa. Does that work?
Thanks for coming by, Pixel. Uh, have a good night, and definitely thanks for dropping in. What's up, Abby? Welcome. I am selecting a bunch of keyframes. So I, this is the shot that I've play blasted out, and it cuts very abruptly because the animation is not exactly what I needed. So I'm just, just seeing if I could kind of seeing if I could kind of uh, um, just bash through what I need. Oh, that's not it. What is going on here? So I need this to be up here. Yeah, why is that not going like that? So I need this to go up. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think you're right, Rob. I'm just trying not to do that. Because I haven't done it in a while, so now I, then I have to look stuff up. This is the stubborn way to do something. All right, so he sits up. I really just want the continued motion. It, like everything drops dead right there too. I think it's gonna look weird from the main camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, failed experiment. Close that. No, I don't wanna save that. All right, so let's go back to what we had. Uh, Rob, I think you're right. just don't wanna do that. Wait, Rob, I might be misunderstanding what you're saying because that actually makes more sense. So I was thinking you were saying like link it to the like the final position that I would want and kind of like feather those two together in the motion in the motion clips. I haven't used motion clips in a while. Um, so that's another reason why I like, especially on stream right now, I don't want to like get an inception of tutorials going. But I think I know what you mean. I think because like I think I could just take this and then what is it? Character. Uh, oh, how the hell do you do this? I forgot. All right, I'll look it up. I think I know what you mean because then I could like, I could like slow down the the frame into that position. Uh, convert. Motion path, motion clip, what am I doing? Good old Travis Davids, always, always, always good for a shout out. All right. Animate, motion clip, okay, let's get out of here. Rob, you genius. All right, um, so basically I wanna cut here. All 
of this. Yeah, <laughs> this is way easier. Um, good call. Good call. You're right. You're right. All right. Uh, whoops. I just want to delete this one. And then this I can... Uh, All right. Uh, find motion on TO timeline. Use you want to make adjustment in keyframe all relevant joints and bones. Move to the end point of the animation and make adjustments at keyframes now. And this is important. Select the part of the astronaut with the motion group tag on it. A new motion clip in the anime menu. Oh, I gotta get the anime menu open. Got you. I think I see what you mean now. And then, and then you could, then you can dissolve between the two. Where is set to absolute though? Skin. I got the stupid cut tool out too. I can't put it away. Um. I definitely skipped a step here. Oh my god, what am I doing? There we go. Alright, let me read through this. It appears when you click the motion. Okay. I think I was almost there and then I bailed on it. All right, so I can grab, let me just put it back in the animate. This is going badly, but this, this is good. All right, um, Just clicking away. All right, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Uh, move to the end point of the animation, make the adjustments. Point on the timeline. Yeah. So I don't understand this. Why he's, like, if I have this clip here, why is he getting up still? Because I've cut all that. I don't know. I'll have to dig into this. This is a good direction, though. All right, so I'll have to come back and do this shot again. Thank you, Rob. This is all, like, 
almost perfectly familiar because um, I've done it before. Um, I just need to like play. I need a refresher. Um, but you've got me definitely pointed in the right direction, so I really appreciate it. Um, so I'll go back and, and play around with that shot. So I definitely need a shot there. So then I think, let me, let me play with this shot a little bit more, because I think what I want is a little different. Because if we get that, um, we get that going, uh, where he comes up to a rest there, then I can actually have him lift up his hand here, rather than just twisting. So let's save incremental on this one. Take all of this, slide this, uh, slide it down. So that gives me some time before you, yep. Yeah, dude. I'll, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it for sure. Um, um, cause there will be like stuff later that I know I need to like motion clip together and fade together. So, um, but if I get stuck, I'll definitely reach out to you. I appreciate it a lot though, cause I kind of would have just been spinning my wheels, forcing clips that I don't actually want in there. All right, so let's. Also, for what it's worth, that's why this is so much more rewarding than like a tutorial because sometimes I would get like a, um, I would get like a comment like, there's like it happened recently. I got a comment like six months later. No, like a like two years later. What am I talking about? And it's like, oh, you could do this. And I was like, what? What are you even talking about? And then I had to like wa look at what the video was, and then kind of think like, what was I talking about there at being confused on? And then only to get the tip. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, I'm glad you shared, but I have no idea <laughs> what that even is anymore. So, all right, let's set keyframes for a couple bones now. Elbow looks broken as hell right here. Oh yeah, we got a dead arm. Those keyframes. Cool. That's basically what I want. Just really need to smooth it out now. All right. Uh, I need his head to turn. Sorry, guys, I kind of stopped narrating this. My brain processors started acting up, and I had to. So, all right, I want his head to turn and look at his hand, like, right away as he's bringing it up. And then it slows. 
It's pretty close. Just have to adjust his this rotation here because it's like really pinching. So let's try that. And it's almost all the way there. You can see where it comes to a halt right there. So I'm just going to have to get in with the keyframes and figure out what I want to do there. All right. Shit. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't need those. Okay. I think it might be that. Yeah, that looks nice. I just gotta get the rotation going correctly. I don't want this to overshoot though. Notice that, so let's, yeah. Oopsies. There, get that curve nice and smooth. Now his wrist. All right, so just looking at his arm here, I think that's good, but I gotta give a little more life to his actual wrist action. So his wrist rotation is if I toggle that off. No, it's not that one. I think it's this one right here, right hand. So if I shut that off, oh, there's a good tip with this that uh, Jesus Suarez shared. Um, we can mute these. To be able to like solo those out. Hey Rob, thanks for stopping by, man. Get some sleep. I appreciate it. Appreciate you showing up. Showing up on Instagram. You're the man. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone else who's still sticking with me here. I am very surprised by the turnout, so I appreciate it. All right, this guy doesn't do shit, so we'll delete. Does it? Delete that. So if we just drag this, actually just drag both of them to the beginning here and have them move in the whole time. And I think we just need a little more action on his head rotation. Again, that isn't really doing anything. Ah, it's subtly moving. <laughs> That's not right. All right, uh, that is not right either. So that's getting close. He looks at it for a bit. What's going on here though? No, is it just a pocket flap? Or is that a broken? Yeah, it's just a pocket flap. So we should be good there. And what we'll do is we'll put a little 
We gotta put a little like shift on that, like something like that right there. I think it's just a very little subtle spinal move. Um, like that. Just to give like the a little more life to the rest of the body. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but it adds a lot. Um, I just didn't feel like it's just... It doesn't feel like it's just, uh, you know, static, which is what it was. All right, so the thing I'm looking at right here is this, <laughs> this wire is fucked up. Look at this thing. That's no good. This is what I might do. Is just kill this. Let's delete that. Shh, don't tell anyone that there used to be a cord there. And I think I want to curl them up a little more like that. This whole body is shifting. This whole body weight shifts a little bit more. I like this a lot. So let's call that. Let's save incremental on this. And let's bash, blast that one out. All right. I'll copy this, bring it to our play blast here, and this is shot. Copy, paste, shot three. It's a little bit longer of a shot. Now we have this. Yeah. So he's going to sit up. I'm going to fix that based on Rob's advice. And then it's going to cut to looking over. Am I a real boy? And very quickly, let's save as 022, uh, wake up hand, we'll call this. And this we will keep all our animations intact but we'll kill our camera animation and this we're just going to get the reverse angle of this so this hand is here we what is the shot basically we want his we want his point of view the question will be is like will this these textures and stuff hold up but God, this is such a good way. So the next shot, he looks at his hand, he looks back, then it cuts to Yeah, I was gonna say that's a good way to like get a shot down the hallway to like alert the thing past him. So he could be looking at his hand and then like glance past and that's where we see our enemy. But let's still establish him as a real boy here. So we'll start this like right here. And in this one, let's accentuate his fingers splaying a little bit more. 
So we're going to have to get all the way down to these. that a little more now it's not a very long shot it's only like a second and a half so let's stretch this whole thing out Out everything. A little bit. Stretch that whole thing out. I'll start at zero. Make this like 200. Oops. All right, we'll start about there. Now we have this. So I like to get like more from his perspective, like his oopsies, what's going on? Point of view. It's way too close though. You know what? I actually did like that shot. Back it up. There we go. And let's look at our compositional guides here and just make sure. All right, we don't need that. Let's go triangles. We'll flip those. But look at that. Just do a little pan. Let's freeze all these. That's all we're going to do is the little X move. And we'll make this linear. And then here's our shot. Let's take a peek at how it's going to look subdivided. Yeah, that'll look a lot nicer. Cool. So let's play blast this. Manual, do 64 to 148. All right, I think we'll get these shots, these shots done, and then take a little, take a little break. Been going for a little while now. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. It's fun. Um, I would be talking to myself anyway, so at least now it's less crazy. Oh man, Tommy, I just got a um, follow on Instagram. You sweet angel. Thank you. For anyone else interested, at J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R, it's my name without the vowels. Uh, give me a follow, man. And lady, ladies and gentlemen, um, love talking DMs, talking motion design, talking 3D, lately talking NFTs, all of it. Uh, all right. What? I'm a real boy? Look at that.
that's beautiful. And then let's save and save project as wake up face. And with this, we basically want the same section. We'll delete this again because now we're going to swivel around right here. Oh, this could be a cool, really cool, like, rack focus, like going from his fingers to his his helmet. So let's get this in position. This camera is jank, though. Holy, holy sh crap! All right, um, let's change our camera. Lens, let's go something a lot tighter. Kind of he's looking at his hand there. How can we do this? How can we frame this up? Like that could look really cool. What's up, Schwen? Ah, oh, dude, thanks for following. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for saying hi. Please, everyone, say hi to Xuan Chang. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for following. I really I, I really appreciate it. It's very humbling. Look at that. We'll do this. So we'll push right in. And we're going to rack focus between. Let's see what we got here. I don't think any of this is lit. But basically, yeah. Nothing. But we'll we'll do like a rack focus from like the fingers to the to the face. That'll that'll be really cool. I think. I don't know. Um and again let's bake. Let's freeze all the positions so we could just do a Z. No. Alright. Rig it up. Rigging it back up to the face. All right. Now I should be able to, nope. Freeze them all. What is going on here? Freeze everything? There we go. Okay. Um, put that here right at the beginning. And ba, 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 we'll go to the end here and we'll push right in. We pull out. This could be our, like, I want to do a little, oh, dude, Mike, thanks for the follow, man. I'm assuming you're in, in the chat right now, silently. Otherwise, it's just crazy timing. And uh, either way, thanks to Mike DePino Visuals. Did I pronounce that right? Deponio visuals? Mike Deponio visuals? I'm married to an Italian woman, and um, I bet you I fucked that up anyway. All right. Uh, start it here, and we're going to go right there. Am I real? That's, that's, what, that's what he's thinking right here. Oh, whoops, I didn't we'll call this camera rig. Camera right. We'll delete this. We'll spin that down and we will. Yeah, I didn't change my Z. What am I doing? Uh, so yeah, I think here we want to just be a tad closer. That's very close. We'll do that. Oops. Oh boy, what have I done? Go to the next frame. Now we want to be closer, right there. Okay, so that's a 
It's gonna look and like rack focus. And um, there, there is a plan. Hey, what's up, Mike? Awesome. Well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So I think there's a there's a, a an idea in here for a shot. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking. Uh, I think I have to log in. Maybe not. I think just got this. All right, Pac-Man reference. It's probably in my board anyway. Yeah, it's kind of in my board anyway. Basically this type of shot, like I want to get a very subtle, very subtle amount of um, his face through the shield. So this could be a good opportunity to pull that off. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, I uh, have a background in 3D animation, motion graph, or uh, 2D animation and motion graphics stuff. So um, I'm finally getting around to like curve animation in here. Um, animation Bootcamp uh, from School of Motion. So good for curve animation stuff. Face or no face, though, I feel like this will communicate that feeling of like, what? My hand. All right. Um, Let's play blast that. And let's grab this. Play blast paste. We'll call this shot O oh, two three O oh, one. Uh, and if anyone's wondering, the naming convention for this that I'm trying to follow um, helps for like adding new uh, shots that you might not have planned on. Um, yeah, dude. That this is so. This what I'm working on, Mike. Um, to derail for a second uh, from what I, uh, is not derail to detract is. Um, this is the final assignment for the David Aria, of course, which uh, I just finished up. Um, I'm gonna go a lot more in depth with with it, so it's not just like a, you know, the, uh, there's like assets provided and stuff like that. But I've been kind of like I've been wanting to do this particular project for a long time. Um, after taking that course, I feel equipped to do it, and it's a awesome, awesome course. I highly recommend it. Um, and this is just going to be a much more in-depth, like, short than um, what what comes with the course. Not not saying that's not it's not in-depth. I guess, how should I explain this? I think it's just that there is, uh, you know, there's provided assets and stuff like that. And there's, like, a general, like, theme to some of the scenes you're setting up in that course. Um, and it's all really cool. I like it a lot. Um, but I wanted to like do this project anyway. So I was like, oh, this will be a good way to use the skill set learned in this course to finally execute on the short that I wanted to make. Um, but I, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Amazing course. David was like incredibly attentive to the class. Uh, so like the live Facebook or the active Facebook group during it, he's like constantly like reviewing work and stuff like that. It was, it was awesome. It was like a total, like true, like, learning hands-on experience as much as you could get in like a remote learning and COVID situation. So, um, highly recommend it. All right. So let's drop this in here. And then, boom, we cut to our terminal shot. You know what? This this actually might be the terminal shot right here. That's the terminal shot. Because that's like where he, what? And he, what? And he sits up. I think as long as we slow that down a little bit, 
It's this. I still think there's a little, you know, it ramps. It like slows down a little bit. So I got to fix that. Something drifts into the frame at the end of the hall. So do we do that here? Because he's in the hall right now. Orientation-wise here. Do that right there is the let's go back to this shot. Reverse everything. Whoa, 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 what happened there? Come on, what are we doing? All right, let's try to get the reverse of this. Let's delete those. Now do we have the reverse? Yes. But I don't want these. I wanted the reverse of his arm. I think there's a quick way to flip these two. So I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. Whoopsies. I don't need any of that. I don't need these. Uh, all right. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. I think what I could do is grab everything. Is there like a flip? Is there a function? I mean, I could just do track after and then do oscillate after maybe. I just, I just wanted to like, I just want to flip it. How do I do that? There's got to be a way to do it. Anyone know how to flip the keyframes? Like mirror them? Yep. Just, there we go. As soon as I said mirror, that's literally the button I found. 
Okay, so which is good because I want him to do this. I notice something down the hall. So 88. No, I want like let's give it let's go like 64. We'll start it up there. Give him a second. To finish looking at his hand, and then as this drops, we're gonna tilt up and notice something down the hall. This doesn't matter because And let's put something down the hall for him to look at. Uh, there he is, sneaking into the background. Okay. So he's going to notice this character down the hall. We're going to tilt up on that. So let's also put... You know what? We're back to our... Whatever. All right. Um... in our hall. Whoa, 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 breaking it. There we go. All right, now leading lines. Beautiful, let's get rid of the triangles. Okay, so he's gonna look at his hand. That's really slow. So all of this, we're gonna scooch it down. It's still super slow. So let's uh, keep scooching this. Let's play this back. So a second of looking at the hand and then Right here is where I want to start looking down the hallway. So he's going to keep looking at his hand and then he's going to go, what? Okay. All right, so let's put a little, pardon me.
All right. Just want that look up right there. So Okay, so about right here, 40 frames in, we're gonna, over the course of one second, I'm gonna look up. It's gonna go, what? The hell is that thing? Um, the size of these walls real quick again just for blocking purposes we're just gonna go what ah uh, thank you for a minute so for the course of a second I said 64 frames we're gonna <clears throat> frame up our guy here and a classic And I think we're going to want a little bit of overshoot here. Oops, just on this. You know what, I don't need an overshoot there. I need to put a wiggler on it. So let's get rid of that. Okay. So he's gonna look up. guy's gonna kind of fly into the screen slowly hmm let's put a little wiggle on this up damn it all right so the wiggle needs to I need to have keyframe set for all of this I 
zero. And shines at 96. Let's also put keyframes there. Keyframes there, keyframes there. Now I think I can put a wiggle on it where it won't screw everything up. So if I do that, I should be able to jump. What the heck? There's supposed to be a way where you can, there we go. Add a tag to it now. Okay, I janked it all up. All right, I want a very minor vibrate on it. Just a little motion. We can increase that a little bit. I think right here we can increase the amplitude. Why a lot? Could kind of spike that so that we get the overshoot from there. I don't think that worked how I wanted to, but I actually like how this looks. I think if I made that huge, I'd notice that. Oh yeah, no, it's working. It's just that the I have to I have to also increase the frequency. Increase that to one and then back down to point two. So that should spike it. And give us a little, a little bit of bouncy overshoot here. <laughs> now nah, that looks stupid. Never mind. Why the heck do I overshoot this without keyframing an overshoot? I think I could do this. All right, let's look at this amplitude again. If I bring the amplitude up very high. And then back down. That might give me a nice little bit of overshoot there. Yeah. So here we have our little ghost coming up, coming up, Pac-Man. 
So we'll have him just standing, staring there. So let's bring him in here. Let's add him to the party. So ghost idol O2. Then we'll play blast this and shut her down. Oh. This was fun. Thanks everyone for watching. I see there's we got three left. Thanks for sticking with it. I know this is a long stream. So it's a long stream and your time is valuable. So I really appreciate it. Uh, fun fact, I learned how to spell ghost when I was a little boy from the Ghostbusters song. Or not not the Ghostbusters theme song, but the I Ain't Afraid in a Ghost song. It might be Ghostbusters 2, but he goes, I ain't afraid, I, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. But there's like a line, he's like, da 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 G-H-O-S-T, Ghostbusters. Now I'm a big boy that knows how to spell ghost. Who's that down that hall? Spooky, huh? We got our nice leading lines here. So, it's like, what? What are those feet in the? It's basically the shot. This guy's just standing there, all creepy like. Let's just check our compositional guides. So golden section. Mm. So what we could do is right here. Yeah, let's get that right there instead. And there. And what'll be cool here is there'll be a little like pulsing of uh, light. You're like, what is that light coming from? Negative two, whoops. All right, so. Okay, this is gonna be 12. This is gonna be call that six.
do this here as well. So we'll call that 12. Call that 6. All right, so I think this is like the light like ch -ch 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 kind of flickers on there, and then he goes, what? Okay, let's try to blast this one out. So that's 0 to 96. We'll call that all frames. We'll see how that fits in the edit, and then we will pack it in. Three and a half hours. I think that's solid. Solid. Man. Go get some food, put some Call of Duty. Get ready for real work tomorrow, you know what I mean? All right, uh, copy this. Oh, yeah, I never finished this point on this naming convention. So if you go like, so instead of shot one, if you do shot zero one zero then you have like nine more shots you could squeeze into that setup um without having to like rename like shot two so like i had shot one then i had shot two and then i realized i needed two more shots in here and all right i need one more shot in there so i like i had this original wide shot and then I wanted a tighter shot of the same camera angle so I just named that zero one one and then it's like the point one of that if that makes sense it's like going like one point one one point two all the way up to until you make it to two Everything feels a touch floaty, so I'll have to refine these, but it's gonna be a good idea of like this, like I'm getting the shots I need. Ugh, what, he sits up. Then he's gonna look at his hand. The fuck am I? I think this shot is just pushing in too aggressively. So let's just clean that up real quick. Let's wake up face, right? So let's look at our camera on this one. And the Z, it's just the Z. I just need to turn down a, a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty aggressive. Turn it down to that. Blast that one out. Actually, I said all. I wonder if it includes the stuff outside of my preview range. I think that's a touch aggressive still. Oops. All right, play blast. That's going to be. Shot oh two three two whoops oh, come on whoops shot oh two three two close these Replace that. Yeah, much more subtle. Actually, let's not replace it. Let's do this so we can compare them. 
So that's a pretty dramatic push in for a close up like that. And then this is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit slower. What the? And then O24. This one, I just think we, we need another second on it. Um, so 120. And we'll do all frames. All right, let's try this last shot here. I'm gonna need that folder again. And play blasts, paste it, and then this will be the shot, copy, paste, change the iteration number, and then let's close this, let's drag this in here, and we'll drag that on top, and we'll just get a little bit more look at the, the ghost before we Cut to the close-up. So that was a good haul. Damn, six watcher. What's up, everyone? Thanks for uh, joining. Um, man, that was a long stream. That was really fun. So let's show you what we got so far. Dark, ominous sound. Powering on. Cut to the terminal. And then what? And then that we gotta I gotta fix that. He sits up. This is my fucking hand. The fuck is that? Bam. So let's look at our story clock from last week. Wake up, remember terminal terminal, kinda futzed around with that a little bit. Look around, halls everywhere. Yeah, I don't really need that. So then, ghost approaching. So this, this. Um, sorry, my wife is texting me. Um, so the change up a touch here is that we are now black, black screen, overhead of the body on the ground. Camera slowly pushing in, camera twisting toward it. Uh, wake up. Cut to the terminal, pushing in on the terminal. So I said a lot of modeling to do for that. Um, so right now it's just that black frame. Uh, cut to the black, uh, cut back to the uh, Pac-Man and he sits up, wakes up, he's startled. Uh, something drifts into the frame at the end of the hall, back to helmet. So we kind of added this shot of the hand, which I think works because it's like he's, he's hitting that discovery phase that everyone else is. It was like, wait, I'm real now. Um, so he looks at his hand, looks at him, and then could even have like a touch of that, the light from the ghost start to like influence that. And then it's, cause then you could cut this down to here. Like that if that lighting starts to tell the story. And you're like, what? It does feel a little. Robotic. Hmm. But here's a tip. For whatever project you're working on, if the time permits, which it does in this case, 
put a pin in it. We're at a good stop. Let's save everything. And look at it again. Next time you sit down, you take a, even if you're on a tight deadline, take a hour break from it if you're able to, and then come back to it. And then I'm sure things will jump out. We're like, why did I do that there? Um, give you a, a little bit of a fresh uh, pair of eyes on it. So because there's some stuff here that feels a little floaty. It might not later. I don't know. It might look really floaty. The fuck? Cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I have uh, – there's a little spiel about this in the middle of this. Um, I have a Patreon if anyone is interested. Um I need to set up the rewards for it. Um, I'm modeling the Patreon now after the creator of Astartes who uses it as a way to fund the project. Um, this is part one of four for this project. So um, any funding is awesome. Ultimately what that would go toward is uh, better graphics cards, stuff like that. So I can um, render these and put them out quicker once like, you know, this whole step is done. Um, but, uh, as far as like a rewards portion of it, um, I'm also happy to provide project files. If you guys want to jump in those and futz around with them and see what I did. Um, so the rewards are a little jank right now. That's, that's, I guess what I'm getting at. Um, I'll, I got to piece those together a little more, um, a little more intentionally. Um, but besides all that, uh, you can um, like, uh, hit, hit the notification, you know, all that shit. Uh, that really helps with the YouTube stuff. Uh, you could reach me on Instagram, Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. That's also my Twitter handle. Um, I'm a lot more active on Twitter now that uh, the NFT art community is over there. Um, and follow me if you want. Um, I really just care about dms and comments and stuff like that I, I like talking to people um i think it's a lot more meaningful than just like a like or anything like that so uh feel free to hit me up there if uh if you're interested um and i will plan to be back next week uh with this so um thank you all again for joining and i'm going to end the stream take care <laughs>